Hi, my name is Natasha and I'm from The Voice Asia. Today I'll be giving you some tips on how to wrap Christmas presents. Okay, preparation is the first step. So make sure you have the right paper and the right amount cut. Simply take your gift and place it into the centre of your paper and just place it any way you think is appropriate and you want to give enough space that you have make sure you have enough paper, you don't want to cut too much and you don't want to cut too little so I think that's about right and you should be at least double the size of the gift. Place your gift down and just cut along the paper. It doesn't matter too much whether it's straight but try and get it as straight as you can. Okay, once you've got the paper cut you then want to see how much paper you need to cover your present. Now you can see from here that we have some extra paper. Now it's better to have extra than there is to have less. So with the extra I'm just going to cut a little bit off because it can get very messy if you have too much paper. There you go, not too much wasted. Also a good trick is if you just fold over where you've cut the paper to give it a nice straight edge, just fold over a small amount like that. Then you bring your paper in and you bring them both in until they meet in the middle. Now it's always nice to have the line that you've just creased have it meet in the middle, it just gives it a nice finish if it meets in the middle like that. There you go. Have it nice and tight and then get your sticky tape and just stick your tape across the line that you've just board down there you go so it's nice and tight now for the edges you want to make sure you have enough space either way for the paper and as here we have some excess paper that we can cut but about that much is enough so you can push your gift back or forth depending on where it is now this bit's very easy all you do is bend in the corners so you've got one corner there second corner third corner and fourth corner now they should just fold over nicely and neatly like so, like that. Bring this one up and again just tape it here. There you go, one side's done. Now you can see from there not a lot of tape is used. If you can put a bit extra on if you need to, just have it nice and secure. There you go, that's one side done. And all I've used now is one set of cell tape there and one here. Now that you have the base done, it's very easy to stand up and you can do the other side. So if you stand it up, put it down again and fold in the corners. So one corner, second corner, the third corner and the fourth corner. And again, just fold it down. If you feel you have too much paper here, that's not a problem. You can always cut that off. Or again, just fold it over like we did the last time. and tape that across. There you go, your present's all wrapped nice and neat now. All you've done is folded it over once here and one on each side and there's your gift. Now for the bow, quite simple, your gift is all wrapped. With your bow you just use some foiled bow and what you need to realise is that the bow doesn't hold the presents together. The wrapping's all done, the wrapping's there. The bow is simply for decoration. So if you get your bow and just roughly estimate how much ribbon you need. So go around it just once with a rough estimate of how much you need. So I think I need about that much. Okay, place the bow at the bottom of your present face down and you want to bring it quite close to the edge. So you want the bow to go around the present completely. You want to have it sort of that sort of distance away from the edge. Bring your bow up. And just cross it over. Now with this foiled ribbon, it's quite simple to Then bring it over again, bring it towards yourself 
and you'll see you have enough ribbon there. Now, what I'd like to do is just tape it in place so it doesn't move. So just get a bit of tape. And just tape it in place so that doesn't move. So as you can see, it's all in place. It's not going to move anywhere. What now you need to do is get your bow. Peel the backs off of the bow. Tape and tape it to that. Tape it to the box. And with the rest of the ribbons you have hanging, if you just score them slightly with a pair of scissors, and they'll make them nice and curly. And this side. And there you have it. Your gift is ready. But one thing you don't want to forget is your tag, or your two when you're farming. You can just attach your tag to the gift. But it's already there. Use two, three pieces of sellotape, one for the base and one on each side, and one for the red, one for the sellotape. And there you go, there's your gift.